my name's Richard Arles and um, I'm a trumpet player and uh, today at the Grand Theatre, just behind us, we'll, we'll be playing with my band called uh, Microscopic. <laughs> Well, I would actually uh, say that it, the band came about as, as a, a submission into the Manchester Jazz Festival. Uh, it was an idea I had. So if it's based anywhere, I suppose it's based, based in the heart of Manchester, which is, as we all know, is Presswich. But uh, everybody comes from all over the place. Uh, Mike and um, Percy come from Birmingham and, and Les comes from St Helens, which is not far from Manchester. So we're based, you know, in the northern part of England overall, I'd say. I'd, li I'd like to think it's a, a warm, intimate sound that's not, uh, not a forced sound in terms of trying to grab the audience with excitement, but there is an intensity to it that I, I, I'm striving for, which is the, you know, the music is, is, I think, very melodic and harmonically it's quite rich and rhythmically I hope it's exciting for people. <laughs> Well, in a way, it's come about over the years. I've been, uh, over the last sort of, say, 10 years, I've been concentrating on much bigger projects with a, a band I have called the Miniature Brass Emporium. And Microscopic came about really because I felt that it's quite hard to get work for a band like that. And I wanted to do something where I could form uh, my compositions with, with players I felt compatible with to do that type of music.
school, I wanted to learn an instrument, and I went down to uh, the, the the hall to you know sign up for a clarinet. Put my name in for clarinet, and my teacher said, "Unfortunately, all the clarinets have gone." So I sit next to my friend, and he says, "Well, my dad's the trumpet teacher. Why don't you learn the trumpet?" And that's been a, a pivotal moment in my life. But. Uh, you know, I really wanted to get into jazz and I got my own bands together and different things and I had a, quite a, well I still have a, sort of quite a strong relationship with Mike Walker on guitar who lives near me and we had bands together and different people. There is a strong, in the Manchester area there's a really strong jazz community. Well, it's a fantastic opportunity to take your stuff out and meet promoters and hopefully get, get some work to play, play to audiences out there. I mean, I, I do think it's actually quite a, a, a unique thing. I used to live in Leeds for uh, many years and there wasn't a scheme like this at all. And actually, I think it's probably the, the first of its type I've heard of since I can remember, you know, which is just a, a fantastic thing. So it's hats off to people like yourselves. <laughs> On a personal level, what I'd like to do is develop the music, so I'm, I'm writing more and more material for it, and you know we have a big range of material to play. In terms of recording it, I, I would quite like to record it so people can take it home in a way, but I do feel that, that uh, the, the world of music and uh, rec recording and MP3s and CDs and all, it's changed quite a lot, where music is, is basically out there and you can get it. I mean, I think it was, some, uh, it was actually Les who told me, it was, uh, David Bowie said that, you know, in 20, 30 years time, this was 20 years ago, m music would be like water where you can just get it and that's what it's like and it, that's a great thing, you know, you can just go onto the internet and get your music and that's brilliant. So in terms of recording it, I, you know, I, it's not my main ambition to do that, my main ambition is to go out and perform as much as possible. With it. Thank you very much.